Hey guys and welcome back to my channel Masses32210 This is part 2 of the VW torsion swap on the sand rail Let me show you what we started already <clears throat> Alright What we got going on already If you notice we moved the rail back over here This is the new torsion that we had cut out um, Out of that 72 Super Beetle Went ahead we got the tires mounted up on it Now what we're doing is we need to scoot it back about four or five inches but in order to do that um, let me see if I can zoom in for y'all if you notice like that bar right there that's one of the seat bars and there's one more for the driver we already just cut out the passenger side we're gonna go ahead and eliminate them and I'll remake them using angle iron like I did on my rail let's see sorry for that guys alright let's see if that alright that gets y'all this is one of them not to be confused with this top one, that's the actual shift rod. But that one right there, and that one right there. Since uh, I don't really like having, they have like that little tab right there. I don't like uh, just having two tabs holding the seat down. Where with mine, I did the angle iron. I actually got four bolts going through the fiberglass seat into the angle iron. So my seat is securely on there. That's what we're doing right now. Um, we're going to finish cutting out the other two, uh, the seat bars. We got to scoot the entire thing back, like I said, of several inches. But you can kind of get an idea what all this mess of tubing is starting to look like. Um, let me get my buddy out here, my fellow YouTuber, and he's going to finish cutting out those seat bars and we'll start scooting it back. Alright, we got one more. Alright, well that's how simple it was with a nice new blade on the Sawzall. Alright, now I'm going to let y'all guys go for just a hair second. Uh, we're going to actually try to position this frame on the stands. Get it lined up, up and down and perpendicular to that rear end. And uh, as soon as we got everything mocked up, uh, we got the jack so I can do the up and down tilt of that transmission. We're going to do that and I'll get right back with y'all. Well guys, so far I've tacked this in almost the entire top side. I'll actually have to jack the frame up to get the bottom side real good. But this side's done. This side is permanently attached to this transaxle. Now we're working on the other side. The other side I got a, uh, you put a little filler plate in, in between the tube and the torsion due to how to, uh, how we ended up cutting it, which we tried our best to remove as least amount of metal as possible. Sometimes it just doesn't work that way when you're releasing metal. Um, let me get it set up and we're tacking in the other side. We're taking out uh, some of this tubing or changing it up a little design and I'll be right back with y'all guys. Alright guys, well I got the front tubes. I got the whole tops of them done. On the driver's side I had about let's say right around an eighth of an inch gap so what I did was I put a filler plate, a nice little thick plate in there so that way I lessen my gap and what I did was I stitch weld from the main tube chassis over to my plate over to the, uh, the axle. Now what I got, um, this is focused for the audience, right? Yeah. What I got right here, this is um, a tube that I want to put in. My rail has this. Since this rail didn't have it, they used this kind of tube right here. Um, we're still, uh, my fellow YouTubers still trying to decide on whether we're going to keep this or not. This is, I think, more of an aesthetics type deal, but somebody has added to this rail over the years. But for right now, so we go ahead and strengthen this, I definitely wanted to put this little short piece in. Let me go ahead and start welding this up, and we got one more to do on the other side, guys. 
It's all stitch welded in. Well, it's just tacked in. Let's just say that. Um, what I'm going to do is I'll go ahead off camera. I don't want to bore y'all with just a bunch of welding. What I'm going to do is go ahead and zip this all the way around the bottom and try to go ahead and do this top so this piece is in permanently and it'll still allow for a shock bolt to go through here. Um, I believe we're not going to use those big off road shocks that cause that headache um, as we brought this home. If any of y'all haven't seen this and you're seeing this uh, episode on my channel, it's called the. Uh, what is that one? That's the Nightmare Road Trip. Alright guys, uh, I'll be right back with y'all when I'm getting ready to do the other side. Alright guys, this is basically what I'm holding in. This is um, probably half inch, .095 I believe is the thickness on this. And this is basically nothing more than a brace. And what it does, it goes from the top of this shock tower over to the top of this rail. If you notice, um, I had my buddy angle cut this so that way we can kind of... Alright, let's see if I can get it back in here the way this was. Um, it takes me a second to line it back up, but now that I'm on camera, <laughs> you don't want to cooperate. Um, but basically that's all this does, is what it does is transfer the energy from the top of the shock tower mount right to the frame. Um, let me go ahead and weld this, start welding this one in, and I'm going to actually let my buddy do some welding because he's been wanting to do it. Alright, here we go. That's good. Alright guys, yeah this wasn't that long of a video. Um, we got that brace put in. It was a new brace to this uh, buggy. Um, it's welded here and it's welded there on the top so that's pretty good and now it's at least stiff. Um, like I told him, we're going to do it like my rail. We'll go through and do all the tack welding. Um, start welding in gussets or tacking them in then I'll come back and do one day just dedicated welding um, I'm not going to do a bunch of the boring welding stuff because it's just really different ways to try to figure stuff out but that's basically it because like my rail you have this bottom tube and you got this tube coming down and this this is how the whole rear connects but on his they had one here they had the one there then they had this one came around and hooked to the top um, he's still not sure if he's going to keep this one right there so that's something for him to figure out what I'll do is off camera um, I've got let me see if I can get zoom in a little bit I've got a little space from there to there and it was actually rotted out um, this and that that tube coming down were rotted right there at the bottom if uh, he eliminates this one what I'll do is cut this flat and um, instead of trying to butt up two pieces of pipe what I'll do is kind of like we had to do on mine, I'll use a piece of angle iron on one side coming down then take the other side and put it in and weld it all around the top around the bottom and weld the seams in so basically it'll be the tube then you'll have the box which will strengthen it um, we're not you know we're going for strength we're not really going for prettiness but maybe a little both sometimes you have to do what you got to do to get this in um, so far that's it you know this torsion is basically in right now um, we definitely got to get 
the coupler for that shift rod because I've had a heck of a time trying to get this thing into neutral and I still haven't got it. We just picked it up and uh, both of us just kind of picked this. He was on this side, I was on that side. We just kind of pick and drug it over here and same thing with the front to get it out of the way. Um, I want to be able to get my rail out so if I want to go drive it, something, you know, I can still pull it out. The last thing to do is get rid of all this rust from cutting out the original torsion. So, guys, I appreciate you watching my videos. Um, let me know if there's any way I can improve these. I'm trying to show the, all the basics, you know, for any newbies out there or so people haven't done this. Um, if you got any questions, definitely, you know, let me know. Um, just leave me a comment below. Um, <clears throat> yeah, just leave me a comment below. I'd be, I respond to all my comments, whether good or bad. You know, hey, at least maybe a thumbs up. You know, this is uh, definitely fun building my second rail. Well, building a second rail. This is my buddies. Thank you so much, guys. Y'all have a good night.